Uh, our next speaker is uh, Dr. Um, Samir Rashwani, who is a scholar of Quranic studies and Islamic intellectual history. His teaching and research concentrate on the trajectories of the Islamic scholarship on the Quran from the early centuries of Islam on and investigate new hermeneutical approaches to the Quran. He was a lecturer at the Faculty of Sharia, Universities of Damascus and Aleppo, and uh, he has been a UMI uh, fellow in Berlin. And since uh, 2013, he's a postdoc uh, at the Center of Islamic Theology at the University of Tübingen. And his talk has this uh, quite um, thought-provoking uh, title, Is God a Moral Model? The Beginnings of the Moral Interpretations of the Divine Names as Virtues. And I think it seems to me that it ties quite well with the previous uh, talk. So, Dr. S uh, uh, Rashwani, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Professor Tassab, for your kind words and uh, introduction. Uh, I would like, uh, first of all, to thank uh, the organizers for their uh, nice invitation. Um, well, let me share, um, start sharing the point. Yes, it's there. Okay, great. So, yes, um, yeah, as, as, as um, Dr. Kassab said, um, this, uh, this presentation ties well to the to the uh, uh, um, uh, the previous lecture of, of uh, Dr. Uh, Fasalo, um, but with more uh, concentration on the uh, on the divine exemplars, not the uh, the, the human exemplars. Um, so uh, I will talk mainly. Uh, I will try in in this uh, presentation to track or to trace uh, some of the trajectories, early trajectories, and and later trajectories of the concept of التخلق بأخلاق الله. So, uh, bringing one's character uh, traits into accord with the character traits of God, which is, as as uh, 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 Sophia said, um, it's a program was common both to philosophers, Sufi scholars in the medieval Islam, and also um, an idea that has its roots in the concept of imitation of God that we find in the biblical account of creation, the idea of image of God, the image of God or walking in the uh, in God's ways. Um, and also, of course, in the philosophical tradition, like uh, uh, Plotinus uh, and, and uh, new Plotinus uh, ideas. Interestingly, also, uh, the, um, um, this, this, uh, this concept, like imitation of God or playing God, playing God, was was also like a current in the in in, in the recent discussions in, in bioethics, like to which extent are uh, are our uh, um, physicians um, like um, uh, uh, allowed to 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 play uh, uh, a role which is usually or or traditionally attributed to God. So. Um, uh, one scholar, I think he's is Faisal Shah Zadi, something. Uh, he, he wrote an interesting article about how to justify, like uh, that, like in Islamic tradition, we have justification for blaming God for playing God, of course, according to specific rules. So, uh, um, well, Muslim interpretation of this notion uh, varies distinctively. The most um, like um, 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 uh, one find variations of this idea in the Hakim al Tirmidhi, Al Ghazali, Ibn Barrajan, Ibn Taymiyyah, Al Azm Abd al Salam, and others. Um, and the notion of of at bi akhlaqillah faced also like several challenges from within the Islamic tradition. Um, I, I will just touch uh, upon some of them because the, the time is very short. But first of all. Um, I, I would just also give the kind of, uh, um, so um, does human being share any virtues with God, any attributes with, with God? Uh, we have this, this interesting dialogue between Ibrahim, uh, the Prophet Ibrahim, 
and uh, the king, which is not named in, in, in this verse. In this verse, uh, 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 the, the, uh, um, uh, that could, uh, goes like this. When Ibrahim or Abraham said, my Lord, uh, my Lord is he who gives life and causes death. He answered the king, uh, I give life and cause death. Then Abraham said, well, Allah bring the sun from the east, just bring it from the west. At this, the disbeliever was confounded. So when the king answered that I, 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 I give lives and, and cause death, I, and I meet, for some reason, uh, Ibrahim didn't respond to this answer as if there is a kind of legitimate point of view uh, for the king, right? A classical Mufassirun commentator said, well, of course the king can, can give life and, 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 uh, and causes death because he's king, he can kill somebody who deserve, uh, deserves to be killed or uh, uh, forgiven. Uh, and in this sense, he, he is somebody who can yuhi wa yumit. Uh, that's why Ibrahim like, uh, chose a kind of stronger attribute of God, which is Al-Qudra, the power. So, and of course, chose something which, is, which, which, which goes by beyond the, 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 the ability of the, of the king or any king. So, this is just one, verses, one of the verses of the Quran where we can like, um, think about human attributes and their relation with the divine attributes. Um, well, now, um, when did the, the idea of appeared? So my archaeological like, like investigation or like uh, survey shows that this idea appeared in the, er uh, uh, like in the early second century of Islam. The first uh, attestation of this concept at the or akhlaq Allah appeared in, in hadith in, in narration in Musnad at Tayalisi, who died in 204 uh, Hijri time. And this narration goes back to somebody called Abdul Wahid ibn Zayd, um, who died uh, in 150. Um, so, and uh, in this riwayah, we have and the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal in Allah azza wa jal khalaqa mi'ata khuluqin wa sab'ata ashara khuluqan fa man ata bi khuluqin min ha dakhala al-jannah. So God created 117 um, uh, character traits. Uh, whoever comes with one of them uh, will enter paradise. Um, what I wanted to say, I, 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 I'm, I'm skipping some important information here because of the time. Uh, what I wanted to say, like my investigations shows that uh, Basra was the, the according to the uh, information that we have, the birthplace of this concept. And the first attestation has to do with this Abdul Wahid ibn Zayd. Um, all like later muhaddithun um, or collectors of hadith. Uh, who are who, who mentioned this hadith? Most of them, at least, comes from Al Basra. So Ibn Abi Dunya, Basrian, Al Bazar, as well. Um, later on, like in the third century, philosophers like Al Kindi, um, also somebody who will touch upon this idea of At Tashabbuh Billah or At Tashabbuh Bi Afalillah, um, Ikhwan Safa, Al Farabi. Um, so, the, the, the only attestation from the second century goes back to um, um, uh, Abdul Wahid ibn Zayd, somebody I will talk about soon. Um, this idea, um, like, the, um, uh, disappeared until and, and reappeared in the, like, in the uh, half of the third century with Ibn Abi Dunya, Al Bazar, Muhaddithun, with Al Kindi. Uh, and Ikhwan al-Safa, philosophers, with a group of, of uh, uh, famous Sufis, 
from Basra and also from uh, um, like from everywhere around uh, Sahel Tustri, Al Khawas, Abu Hussein Al Nuri, uh, Ahmed Ibn Ata Al Wasbari, uh, and of course Al Hakim Tirmidhi. Somebody we will come back uh, to him later. And of course, in the fourth century, we have um, uh, um, yeah, Al Farabi and uh, uh, Abu Talib Al Makki. So. Um, uh, Al Basra was an important place for this. Why? Al Basra was um, like uh, um, maybe it's 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 just to talk about this this person Abdul Wahid ibn Zaid uh, will give us an idea about. Uh, so Abdul Wahid ibn Zaid was um, famous um, um, uh, close student of Al Hasan al Basri, the head of Basra Sufis and famous moving preacher and ascetic. He was a friend of Amr ibn Ubaid al Mu'tazili before leaving him and concentrating on ascetism and divine love. According to Ibn al Arabi, uh, 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 he kept some of the Mu'tazili ideas only after visiting Asham, these ideas decreased. He was from a group of people called Nisfiyya, who were half Sunni and half Mu'tazili. But some Basrian will insist that he left Mu'tazila or Mu'tazil uh, uh, completely. For Ibn Arabi, there was a kind of contradiction between his love theology and his Mu'tazili opinions. Abdul Wahid ibn Zaid was the main narrator of this tradition, which, uh, which, which attributes to God something called akhlaq. Um, uh, later, Muhaddithun neglected his narrations and considered them uh, weak, and the, considered like Al Hasan, al, uh, sorry, the, al, al Abdul Wahid ibn Zaid, somebody who's like a good man, ascetic, but he's bad in 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 uh, memorization and narration. Uh, and this applies to all similar narrations. All these narrations where we have like Akhlaqullah or something like this were considered by Muhaddithun as weak narrations. Um, as you see here, like um, in the narration that we have uh, in, uh, in, like in, which is recorded by Ibn Abi Dunya or Al Bazar, both Basrian uh, muhaddithun, uh, also narrated from, like also Basri uh, uh, line of, of of narration. Here we have Abu Dhamma Al Basri. Here we have Abdul Wahid Ibn Zaid. Interestingly, by the time of Al Bazar, like in late third century. Uh, this idea of 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 uh, akhlaqullah uh, might might have appeared to be like strange, right? That's why we have like here strange like formulation in uh, al bazar al bazar, uh, 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 which is So instead of khulu, we have sharia. So apparently somebody was uh, not very much. Uh, uh, Happy with uh, with uh, attributing khuluk to God, which is something we'll be later on, of course, uh, discussed. I will keep talking about the, the philosophical uh, uh, like um, discussions about this. Um, uh, uh, Sophia already mentioned some of them. I will try to concentrate on the like in the Sufi Sunni uh, development of the concept. Um, so uh, until now, we we have only narrations. It's only in the late third century and with Al Hakim al Tirmidhi that we have a kind of uh, a, 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 a long account, a detailed account about how to to perform or what's the importance of this uh, concept of Al Takhalluq bi Akhlaqillah. So um, Al Hakim al Tirmizi argues that uh, whoever has has been given one of the divine traits, he will be given the light of the uh, of the name of God related to that uh, to that uh, uh, character trait, and this light will shine on his heart, and by this trait he will acquire an insight basira that will get used uh, that uh, he will get used to, and assumes its characters. Uh, namely, behave according to it. Um, such a person will be worthy of divine forgiveness, even if he is a sinner 
or has not fulfilled some of his religious obligations. So he also argues that the character traits of God are dis distributed between the divine names and ideals, and thalihi, which is term I cannot figure exactly what is it, but maybe the ideal uh, moral values of these names, I suppose. The relation of human being to these traits is of two types. Either the human being will be divinely wired, majbul, to specific traits and virtues. In this case, he will be naturally disposed to act according to that virtue. The second type is the acquiring, at uh, In this second type, God will teach the people the goodness behind these virtues and traits, and the people should assume and acquire them through a persistent practice and holding on their uh, um, holding on their accompanying, uh, accompanying uh, discomfort. So every virtue is accompanied by um, a kind of discomfort uh, with alam until they get used to them and become character traits of them. So we have this akhlaq uh, wired, majhula, and akhlaq muktasaba or uh, uh, biha, acquired. Um, well, the, the main um, I mean, um, Al Hakim al Trinity in his Nawadir al Usul, um, he, he mentioned this idea in, in two books, completely different books. Uh, the first one, which is Nawadir al Usul, this is sort of collection of a hadith riwayat, but with commentary, not only riwayat narration, but with commentary. Um, and the, the second book is like mystical one, which is Satm al Awliya. In this Nawadir al-Usul, it appears that the main aim of, of um, um, Al-Hakim al-Tirmidhi uh, in raising this issue of Akhlaqullah or Takhalluq bi Akhlaqullah uh, has to do with the value of, of uh, virtues, the value of uh, ethics and morality uh, in comparison with the, uh, with the um, how to say, with the literal and 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 uh, blind following of the uh, rules of religion. So, um, so uh, I'm sorry, uh, Doctor Rashwani. I'm sorry. I have to butt in again. Uh, forgive me, but you have four minutes left. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, so. Um, uh, well, uh, another. I mean, the, the main aim uh, of Al-Hakim al al is that um, normal people should be aware that uh, morality is, is uh, the fizzle of religion. Without morality, religion is, is, is uh, 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 unstable. So we need morality. And the, the main way of, uh, of, of, of this or uh, a possible way of getting this morality is to to study the the, the divine names and divine akhlaqullah. Uh, um, so I, I will skip some points. So um, uh, a century later, uh, we have uh, uh, Abu Talib al Makki, who also spent some time in Al Basra and was accused uh, of being Mu'tazili because of that. Um, so uh, Abu Talib al Makki like uh, engaged in this uh, discourse and talked about akhlaq rububiyya, akhlaq al-mawla, akhlaq al um, Also, he, he mentions some discussions, early discussions uh, uh, about um, how to apply this paradigm of at-takhalluq bi akhlaq Allah. So, for example, this this uh, attribute of al-ghani. So there was a discussion um, which is better for the human being, is to be ghani or faqir. Right, so to be like rich or self-sufficient or uh, uh, in need. There's no time to to, to cover this, but uh, what we know when we read Qut um, al we will not have a kind of clear idea how to apply this paradigm. And uh, there's kind of some contradictions and stuff. The the like the the the, uh, the main personality in this. Discourse of is Al Ghazali, who would be like, like the 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 one who who theorized this, and offers what some scholars called theomorphic ethics, 
Islamic theomorphic ethics. Um, and um, yeah, um, uh, the, the book of Al-Ghazali will, will be kind of the, the, uh, the first of, of many other like later books written on, on the names of God, um, responding or engaging with his theory. Uh, so later on, I mean, uh, the, uh, uh, until Al-Ghazali, we are in the Eastern side of the Muslim world, right? Like mainly in, in Al-Basra and, and, and uh, uh, Iran and, uh, uh, and Hashem and so on. Now, when we move to the Western uh, part, like uh, um, um, uh, Andalusia and Morocco, we will have a kind of completely different approach to the divine name, a kind of, of uh, I would say, um, uh, refusal of the, um, uh, the idea of a by Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi, Ibn Barrajan, Al-Qurtubi, and a kind of, uh, I would say, uh, we have um, a parallel theory. So uh, Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi, instead of At-Takhalluq, will talk about At-Tanzil. Ibn Barrajan will talk about At-Ta'abud. Al-Qurtubi will follow uh, um, Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi. Um, yeah, later on, for example, one- I'm afraid, I'm afraid we will have to stop here, uh, Dr. Ashwani, in the hope of developing uh, the remaining points during discussion. Okay. I'm very sorry. No, no, I'm no, very that's sorry. okay. That's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We stay with the uh, uh, topic or the theme of uh, exemplars, and we move to the paper of Dr. Junaid Qadri, uh, 